Hallelujah. See, you might look at my life and say, I ain't got nothing to give God praise for. But you don't know what I've been through to make it here on tonight. You don't know what I went through to make it here on this day. You don't know what I went through on last week. You don't know what I went through on this morning. You don't know what I got to go home to tonight. So you might say, it don't make no sense for me to give God praise because I know what your life is like. But guess what? Because you know what my life is like, that's why I need to give God praise. Because you know what I've been through and you see what I done made it through that shows that God's worthy of my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A faith praise. Somebody lift up a faith praise right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. declare something see that's how you speak those things that are not as though they already were hallelujah because as Christians we don't look at the facts because facts don't know God y'all 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 didn't facts don't know God facts don't know my Savior because the fact said my Savior shouldn't be alive today hallelujah the fact said my Savior should still be in the ground but how many know we serve a true and living God Hallelujah, because we serve a true and living God where the people proclaim him dead and the fact said he should be dead, but yet he rose again. That means there is nothing, nothing, nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah. 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 I need everyone standing at this time. Hallelujah. 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 See, as Christians, we're people of faith. See, because it's crazy to the world that I believe something that the doctors say I shouldn't believe. It's crazy to the world that I believe something that my family and my friends say I shouldn't believe. But see, I like being crazy because the Bible says I'm peculiar. I'm a chosen generation. A holy nation, a royal priesthood. See, I'm peculiar to the world. And that's all right with me because when a world is comfortable with me, that means I'm doing something wrong. But because I'm peculiar to the world, it's because I stand out. How do I stand out? Because I praise God when I shouldn't be praising him. I worship God when I shouldn't be worshiping him. See, because the world thinks we have it backwards. They think we should only praise God when we got the new car, the Lex Coupe, Bentley, and the Benz riding on 22s but I give God a New Jersey Transit praise y'all didn't, didn't hear that I give, a, I give God a walking like I ain't got no I don't care I 
I ain't, my car don't work. I ain't got no car. If I gotta get on my skates, I'm gonna get there. But even while I'm skating, I'm gonna be skating, giving God praise because God is still able. Hallelujah. See, you give God praise for your four bedroom house. I might just got one room, but I'm going to praise him like I got no sense in that one room. Well, I'm going to have my own altar call, my own worship service, my own praise service in that room because God is still worthy. Because the three Hebrew boys says, I, I know that God can deliver out of this, but if he's, even if he can, I know that he's still able. We believe. Not because people say we should believe. We believe because God says we believe. Amen. I want to open up the altar at this time. Hallelujah. I want anybody, young or old, that if you know that you need to know Jesus. Now you might say, yeah, I, a couple years ago I, I said a prayer at the altar and somebody told me I'm saved. But do you know if the trumpet sounded and God should descend on today that you'd be going see because people think that salvation is a one time thing and that's it, it takes one time to come up there praying you ain't got to do nothing else you can sin some people say you can sin up a storm but because you accept that God wants you okay I don't believe that I believe that it's a daily walk with Christ it involves repentance it involves dying daily to yourself amen so anybody here that does not know Christ or know they need a stronger relationship with Christ, I ask you to come up here. Just come up here. It ain't about who's near. It ain't about who's around you. Anybody. I don't care how old you are. I don't care who's watching. It's not about the people near you. It's about God. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and, and what I also want to do, I hear the Lord saying a faith prayer. Because there are some people who have dreams and visions that God has placed in your heart of things that you want to do or what you want to become. And, and I feel God saying that some people are allowing them things to come and discourage them. I don't care what your goal is. I want to do this. I got business I want to open. I got children, family members I need to be saved. And they look like this not going to happen because they're acting like wild animals. And you, want, you need somebody to come touch and agree with you in faith I need you to come up here I don't care what that vision is or what that dream is or what that that purpose that God has placed in your heart come on give God a praise I need you to come up here people said I couldn't do it people say it won't happen people look at me say it's too late people look at me say I'm too young people look at me say I'm too old but I know what God says if you know what God says but you know things are coming to touch your faith. I need you up here. I need you up here. It ain't nothing wrong with needing some encouragement because David even said encourage yourself. And I know about that, having to encourage yourself. Amen. But we need people to touch and agree. I need Sister Kira. I need you to come up here. I really do. I need, I need you to come up here. I need you to come up here. I need the rest of the church to be in prayer. I need all the ministers. We're just going to pray and believe. Sister Trinice, I need you. I really do. Hallelujah. And, and I need you to do this right now. I really need you to just to close your eyes right now. I, I, I really need this. Now, please, please understand that this is serious. And so for everyone else who's watching, I just need you to really be in prayer right now. I need you just to think about that thing, whatever it is. I got, I, I'm, I want a house. I need a new job. I got a ministry that God has birthed in my spirit, but I know times, sometimes it looks like my ministry's not going nowhere.